What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the war recap to week 7 in CWO Premier Forge from Steel walking away with a victory against another undefeated clan Invictus Prime. They were 6-0 and coming into this war, and you guys see it right there on your screen, FFS getting the victory, 83-81, to also winning on total destruction by just over 1%, and this was a really, I mean, this start, this war started off absolutely bizarre. Uh, someone over in Invictus Prime really ended up screwing the pooch and messed up the breakdown, so... They spun with only nine Town Hall 10s, so we had to make a couple adjustments, which I'll show you guys on the war map uh, in a little bit, uh, but it basically essentially ended up being a 4-9-15 breakdown. Um, that, that's what it basically ended up being, and again, we walked away with the victory. Could not believe it, how this went down. So, as always, we'll go ahead and take a look at what they did to our side of the map. Now, as far as our 11s, they did struggle, as did we, which I'll get to in a little bit. They did go 3 for 8 um, on their 10 v 11 um, attempts. And the base that gave them a big headache was Shy Guy right here, which actually ended up taking 4 uh, 10 v 11 attempts and two 11 v 11 attempts um, just to two star him. So Shy Guy's base, I mean, he built just an amazing base and damn near won us the war right there. So big shout out to all our 11s. And as far as their 11s, this was the tail of the tape right here. Um, they did go four for six on dips. So they did have two 11 v 10 dip fails and they had two 11 v 11 dip fails on Shy Guy's base. And that, you know, again, these are really deciding these wars, the 10 v 10s and how these dips go. And they were not able to execute uh, the dips on our uh, Town Hall 10s. Oki defended two um 11 v 10s so i mean just the base building I, I do want to give a big shout out to ash and richie two of our biggest base builders here big shout out to those guys and they did however they did have three 10 v 10s so they did outmatch us on 10 v 10s uh they were able to get psc's 10 uh they were able to three star him and jacob as well and Hulk. And as you guys can see, that's the base that we basically uh, swagged the hits and swagged um, basically the base as well. They did not touch that base. Their nines uh, just completely wrecked it. Uh, did a very good job. They did struggle with, of course, Richie's base to, ended up taking five hits and they did dip once. Uh, or they did have one dip on Richie's base. But they did have plenty of scouts. But they did decide to uh, dip that base with a Town Hall 10. And of course they three starred all the other Town Hall 9s. Now, what we did on their side of the map. Uh, and like I said before, we did struggle on their number 4 right here which we actually had to send shy guy in for an 11 v 11 attempt um so we were able to we're fortunate enough to get um an 11 v 11 attempt but in total we did go three for nine on the 10 v 11s and just had that uh we were struggling with that number four uh sierra so he had a very tough base and again as far as our dips guys i'm telling you what I don't know what's been in the water over here at FFS. Went seven for seven on dips, guys. And the only bay or the only I guess fail you could say that we had was that eleven v eleven attempt by Shy Guy. Very nice try to Shy Guy um, trying to come in for the eleven v eleven triple. Was not able to get it, but regardless, we did go uh, seven for seven. And that I mean that's basically what's deciding these wars, guys. And we did. Um, yeah, we did clear their 10s. We did end up clearing all of their 10s. And we did triple uh, number 13 uh, by Cotton Eye Joe. Did get the 10v10, our one and only 10v10. And that was the Town Hall 9 that we swagged. Again, they spun short. They were short 110. So we left one of our 10s untouched and left one of their Town Hall 9s untouched because the breakdown was funky. And um, we did have uh, quite a few scouts. 
So our nines ended up doing very well, did not have to do any dips um, to clear their nines. But again, just had an amazing war, could not believe it. And with an amazing war, I do have some amazing attacks uh, that I wanted to showcase. And we're going to look at, here's our first one. You guys know it, Anthony's been doing this freaking queen walk, go va hobo. So we're going to see how he breaks this base down, starting at about 9 o'clock uh, with his archer queen. Uh, four uh, healers behind her does have a baby drag uh, just trying to set up that funnel as there is quite a bit of trash down there also has a baby drag on the bottom right hand side and this is where he's going to be entering into this base uh, down here at about six o'clock so ba just getting really good value from those baby drags nothing's really there to even hit them uh, i've taken out quite a few buildings already queen is just working did have to drop one rage uh, to keep her up and goes ahead and drops one hog to try to get that CC lure, but it did end up hitting that mortar uh, over there at 9 o'clock. But he is going to get the CC pulled. Um, there comes one wizard, so it, it ended up coming out because of the baby drag uh, across that CC range right there. Ends up dropping another hog. Here comes the CC, so does have a couple poisons waiting for it as he does have the uh, two Valkyries and the baby drag coming out of it. Uh, but not going to be an issue, does uh, pop the ability to ensure that that CC goes down. And just getting, again, just getting really good value from that walk. She's already heading up to 12 o'clock, does have a golem over at 3. Dropping down one Valkyrie uh, just to start that funnel. Does drop one test wall breaker to get that open. As well as the main group of Valkyries coming in here right about 3 o'clock. Here comes the bowlers. Really nice funnel. Didn't have to do a whole lot to get those bowlers to go into that base. Has a jump right on the expo. Right in the core. Pretty much opening up damn near all the threats in this base. Did save one poison to slow down the enemy heroes as it did catch both of them in it. And does have a few hogs that he's going to be coming down. Did have a troll Tesla down at 6. So he got rid of that first. Hogs coming up on this other Tesla right here in that mini Tesla farm right there. And all his troops are pretty much in this core and this is going to be over in 20 seconds. So the base just very slowly just starts to collapse on itself. Getting attacked from damn near every Every corner, you know, every corner of the base. Really good job to Anthony doing this queen walk. Go va hobo. Really have been enjoying that attack lately. Good job. All right, next up we got Blake coming in. I'm gonna be doing it with a shattered Lalo. You guys know how much I love these. Uh, technically, it's a shattered bow Lalo. He does have bowlers that can be coming out of the CC, and you'll see he's gonna be starting his funnel on each side here down at six o'clock. Uh, just trying to make a nice tight funnel to make sure that the bowlers go into the base as intended. And he does have two jump spells that he's bringing along. So he really wants to make a really nice push to that core. So you can already see he's got the funnel down. And notice he did drop two golems um, on that DE storage. I really liked how he dropped those two golems as they do do times two damage um, to those buildings. At any rate, to those resource buildings. So he's got the bowlers funneled in, got the heroes funneled in, has everything raged up, pretty much using damn near all his spells on the kill squad here. Does have a haste that he uh, does have for the uh, Laloon portion. Bowlers do hit a nasty spring sharp right there, but pretty much all his objectives are completed at this time. That kill squad got three air defenses, so just got really good value on that push. Uh, queen ends up sniping the baby drag, still has the ability also. Uh, takes that enemy queen, you guys see the Lala portion has already started. Um, had a haste right before he, his loons got to that Tesla farm, took it out. And it's pretty much, um, all spells are gone at this point, but it's pretty much just a few air targeting defenses left. Um, uh, being that archer tower and that wizard tower, um, still had one hound pop. The other one is doing a good job, uh, tanking that archer tower. And these loons are just going to completely collapse on this last wizard tower. Absolutely wrecked it. Gotta love the shattered, uh, the shattered bow Lalo. Really enjoyed it. Good attack to Blake on that one all right next up we have Rahat gonna be hitting this base with a CB Lalo so we'll go ahead and see how he breaks this down has a baby drag on the gold storage uh, just above three o'clock there Golem on the mortar wizards funneling those barracks uh, Queen behind 
beating on the gold mine right there has a jump no wall breakers has a jump leading everything in and it really looked like he set up a nice tight funnel but you're going to see some uh unfortunate event happen right here so Gollum just getting pounded by those expos uh king jumps the wall uh, they, he does get the enemy queen down, so he did get the first objective taken care of, and almost had uh, that expo, that island expo taken out, but was not able to finish it, just has a few HP left. You'll see his archer queen end up wrapping around 3 o'clock, was getting hit by that archer tower, but good eye, he did drop a couple loons on it to take it out, so he pops ability... And gets rid of the baby drag, has a poison taking down some of these pesky skellies uh, coming from the witch. But you'll see right here, his the, the MVP of this attack right here is the archers that he spawned on the queen ability. They ended up tanking the wizards that were left in the CC to give him just enough time to take him out. Ends up taking the witch out just in time to start the Lalo starting up here at 1 o'clock. Just dropping a few loons per defense right here as he does have a hound in the CC on the first air defense. Followed up by the camp hound. Has a nice haste leading everything in. Has a little Mickey Mouse uh, pattern of spells there. Uh, has a rage over that Tesla farm and wizard tower farm. So second expo is down. Has a few air defenses left up. He did bring 20 loons on this attack. So just has all kinds of loons hasting into um, those last remaining air defenses right there but he just has way too many loons left over as they're gonna be collapsing on the fourth and final ad and just has way too many loons and just overpowers those last two archer towers down there at the bottom so really good job to her hat on this one looked a little sketch if the if that witch and those wizards survived it could have caused a lot of trouble, but he adjusted, got it done. Good eye on getting those loons on that archer tower uh, to make the queen survive. Really nice hit by Rahat on that one. So for our next hit, we got, you guys know him, Mark, a.k.a. Cotton Eye Joe, a.k.a. Kodox. And he did leave us uh, kind of mid-season to go to this clan. I think it's called, what is it, um, WHF. So he went over to this clan called WHF, but he does grace us with his presence on the weekends for the CWO Wars. And he's on one of the most annoying account names ever. Ha 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 ha. So we're going to go ahead and hit play and watch how Mr. Mark breaks this base down with our one and only 10v10 of the war. And believe it or not, we actually almost 9v10 this base. And... Again, shockingly enough, it was able to absorb a few more Town Hall 10 attempts. But I'm telling you, there's only a couple uh, defenses left on the, when our Town Hall 9, uh, when Mike hit it with his Town Hall 9. So with just a couple adjustments, we're, we're going to be hitting this base. Uh, we got Mark coming in down here at 6 o'clock. Pretty much the same plan, uh, just with, you know, an extra spell, you know, the bigger heroes, uh, you know, a little bit more camp space. But pretty much the exact same plan uh, that we ran when we were trying to hit it with the Town Hall 9, which actually ended up being just a scout. So it's basically just a Sui Hero Lalo. I uh, was able to get an air defense taken out, the enemy CC, and also the enemy queen, just with his heroes, did have a few Valkyries to help with that push into 6 o'clock. Lalo starting over at 9, uh, followed by, he's going to be hasting all those loons into that Inferno Tower, has a nice split between the Tesla and the Wizard Tower, gets it taken out, another haste, followed up by a heal as they're coming into that air defense damage, and the Expo. So drops a Rage leading into the uh, third and final Expo and the last Inferno Tower. And this base has was absolutely crushed. And there was a Troll Tesla down at 6 and up at 12 o'clock that he did take out with one Loon and one Minion. I did want to point that out. So Mr. Mark just completely smashing uh, this base. Ended up even swagging a Hay Spell on it. All kinds of cleanup. Again, for our third CWL War in a row... Just one 10v10, but we got the job done. Very, very nice attack by Mark on that one. Really, really enjoyed it. Okay, and for our final replay, we're going to have Captain Crunch on Warbucks. Uh, going to be smashing 
this dip right here, this 11 V10 dip. So we're going to see how he breaks this base down, starting off with just a couple loons to grab those traps uh, down there at about four o'clock that were surrounding the town hall. Does drop his queen um, up at about two o'clock. And just going to be basically doing a Sui Hero Lalo here, uh, getting rid of that bomb tower and just trying to open up uh, this base right here. So uh, does pop Queen ability. She is going to be meeting up with these bowlers, does have the warden behind it and a jump spell leading right into the core where he wants to get his hands on those air defenses, the CC, as well as the enemy Archer Queen. And an Inferno Tower is just going to get amazing value from this push right here. Has a nice Warden ability. Uh, no doubt is that Inferno Tower going to go down. Enemy Queen is already down. And um, is going to be starting as Lalo down here at about 5 o'clock. Uh, going to be having both Hounds collapse on that air defense down there. Just dropping about 3 to 4 loons per defense. Bringing everything in. And you'll see his Warden still up in that core right there. Uh, getting shot by that Inferno Tower. But not going to be an issue. Haste all those loons. Uh, and just these last remaining defenses right here. Does have a heal spell. Uh, healing those loons up. As, there, as he did freeze that second and final Inferno Tower. And just has a whole crap ton of loons left. A nice haste just to finish it off. Um, last defense to go down is going to be that Archer Tower. So again, just, or actually was that cannon. But completely wrecked this base. You guys know how valuable these 10, uh, or excuse me, these 11v10 hits are in these wars and our 11s, uh, like I did to start off the video, completely wrecked it going seven for seven on dips. And again, good job on the six pack to Captain Crunch on that one. So, I mean, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, here's the results again, FFS taking the victory in this, um, odd <laughs> breakdown. Um, this 29 v 29 if you will also winning on total destruction 90.93 percent versus invictus primes 89.77 percent so just an amazing war invictus prime again was six and oh coming into this war and they are now six and one as well as ffs is also six and one in first place in the goblin division in cwo premiere so just a, a big shout out to everybody in ffs really been wrecking it lately you guys have been doing such a good job and it's really fun uh recapping these wars to see what's going to happen in premiere how far we're going to go but it, it does look very bright for our future so again you guys have just been awesome uh it, it, I, I can't thank you guys enough at any rate you guys know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate all of the support, and I do have a special um, video coming out as we did reach 500 subscribers not that long ago. Cannot believe it. And as always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.